you, Daddy. Right, class. We're going to start the day with some quick counting, starting with me. So when I point you out, call out the next number. Up to ten and back down again. Quickly. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Ha! Ah, oh, that was really good. Well done, everyone. Well, you're counting certainly up to scratch. Now it's time to get down to some hard work. Oh, oh, oh. With joy when I go to school in the morning Teaching with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away Teaching to count and teaching to read Learn about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping a score Secretary smiling now she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps us shining Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves a stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want joy when I go to school in the morning. Right, everyone, there's the bell. Now, after lunch, we're going to have an art class, and I'm going to teach you all how to create your very own piece of art. So, see you after lunch. Right, I'm going to sort these paints out. <laughs> Right. Hmm. Number one, yellow. <laughs> Hiya. Oh, hi, Tina. What are you up to? Oh, well, I've just brought some children back to school in my taxi. They'd been to the dentist, so I thought I'd just pop in and see what you get up to in your lunch break. Oh, Tina, this is your lucky day. Behold, art in the making. Really? I'm painting a cockatoo. Oh, fantastic. Two. Red. Yeah. You see, I've marked the numbers on the pictures and I've marked the numbers on the paint pots as well. That's really fascinating, Mickey John. But um, I really ought to be back at work by now. Oh, can't you stay a bit longer? I haven't finished the painting yet. Oh, sorry, but um, it was wonderful to watch an artist at work. <laughs> Bye. Oh, well. Now, what number next? Ah. <sighs> I wonder how my little bird is getting on. <laughs> I love to skip in River Sea Pingle, River Sea Pingle, that's for me. Oh, look, my darlings. Do you see the birds? Yeah. Oh, look at that wee one over there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at the beautiful colours. What colours can you see? Red. Yellow feathers, too, do you see? Blue. Oh, blue. They're called cockatoos. I bet your dad would love to hear all about these birds later, Rebecca. Yeah! What are you doing now, Daddy? And uh, number six, that's blue. Oh, no! Oh! Oh, no! Oh, look, what a mess! Oh, help! Oh, no, look at my beautiful, perfect cockatoo! Oh, if the children can't see how I painted the cockatoo by numbers, how are they going to know what to do? I've been working hard to paint a beautiful, perfect picture, and now it's a mess. What happened? Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I dropped Rebecca off at Granny Murray's house. The children were having great fun ripping up newspapers and making a mess. Then they dressed Claude as a cockatoo. He looked brilliant. I showed Granny Murray my drawing of a cockatoo and explained how I was going to show the children how to paint by numbers. At 8 o'clock, Dr Juno popped into school to see the headmaster. She showed me the paintings she had done. They were brilliant, but very different from my cockatoo. 
At nine o'clock, the children practiced their counting. At twelve o'clock, I told the children I would give them an art lesson later and decided to organize my paints and get some painting done. Tina popped in to see me and I showed her how I was creating a painting by numbers work of art. At one o'clock, I realized I would have to hurry to get my painting finished in time for afternoon school, but I spilled some paint and now my painting is ruined. How can I teach the children about painting when my painting is such a mess? Now remember, some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Some of the greatest inventions were discovered by accident. Of course. I spilled blue and yellow paint on my painting and I created green paint. The children will be far more fascinated in that than in my cockatoo paint by numbers. Ah, I'm going to discover how many other colours I can make by mixing paint and it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it, I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong, I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? Yes, I'm sure to your friends, he will get there in the end, because he knows what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Oh, look at these. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be a very colorful cock too, isn't it? Oh, yes. This is gonna be a work of art. <laughs> Yeah. Now, that's what I call a real bird of paradise. The children have done a great job of painting those feathers. <laughs> I wonder what my little Rebecca would make of this. Come along, let's have you. Today, we're going to be making up kings and queens stories. So I want you all to draw characters that you might find in that kind of story, such as uh, kings or queens, princes or princesses, or soldier guards. Now then, let's have a look at what you've done. That's fantastic. Is that your knight, is it? He looks very brave and, uh, oh, and a little princess there as well. Right then, who do we have here? So very tall and skinny, isn't she? I think that's a good idea for a story, isn't it? A tall, skinny queen. I like that. Now, what have we got here? A knight, yes, yes. Looks like he's a guard of the castle, doesn't he? These pictures are going to make an absolutely fantastic story, and I'll tell it to you later, but there's lots of schoolwork I have to get through first. Oh, I walk with joy when I go to school in the morning. Teaching with my chums and see the children learning. School day, work away. I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching. School day, work away. Teaching to count and teaching to read. Learn about birds and plants and seeds. Playing games and sports outdoors. Blowing my whistle and keeping a score. Secretary smiling as she does her organising. The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes, and the cleaner keeps her shining. Oh, what a joy when I go to school in the morning. All on the line in the dinner queue while the cookie cooks and serves us stew. Answering the questions where and why. How does it work and how does it work? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching. Children peep and eye me as they sit and try their writing. I take a look, I mark their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want to enjoy when I go to school in the morning. All alone. Hi, Raymond. What are you doing here? Waiting for Tina to give me a lift to work. She's bringing back some of the children from swimming lessons in her taxi. Does that mean you've got a moment? I need some help to scan the kids' pictures into the computer to make up a story. Lead me to it. 
Come on, then. OK, Raimondo. I'll put the pictures in the scanner. You work the keyboard and check them on the monitor. It's just like putting on a show. Go for it, Mickey John. Oh, the king! I'm very, very busy right now. I need my royal crown and a ham sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. Here we go. Oh, the queen! My husband and I enjoy skateboarding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, the prince. Um, yo, dude, where's the party? <laughs> Oh, that's going to give me so many great ideas for the story. Oh, <laughs> I'm not interrupting, am I? Ah, there you are, love. Shall we go? Well, I think so. You don't want to miss your train, eh? No, no quite. I hope the story is fab. Got to go. <laughs> I wonder what the story will be. All dressed and ready to go. Still got a bit of time yet. I'll just sit down for a couple of minutes and settle my thoughts. Anyone home? Oh, goodness, Dr Juno. What a surprise to see you in at this time in the morning. Oh, I came along to see Edgar. Who's that? The head teacher. Ah, you mean Mr Grant? Yes, I came to show him my painting of River C. Fingal. We all had to paint a picture of the city for the art class. But unfortunately, Edgar didn't have the time to look at it. He was very busy. Oh, well, can I see it? I'd love to see it. Oh, OK. What do you think? I think it's absolutely fantastic. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it's more than fantastic. I love it, Dr Juno. Your uh, colour, your composition, the way you've used your brush. Are you all right? Oh, I'm just so happy, Mickey John. I love that you love my painting. Here, as you like it so much, it's yours. I, I, I can't take this. Of course you can. I want you to have it. Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you, Dr. Juno. Oh, just enjoy it, Mickey John. I've got to get back to work. I'll see you later. Oh, bye. And, uh, and thanks again. Oh. Oh. Lucky me. I've been given two smashing things today. Dr. Juno's painting and Rebecca's fur cone. <laughs> I wonder how you're getting on, my little lucky sausage. <laughs> Lovely, isn't she, Rebecca? Yeah. Hello, baby Mia. Hello. Oh, do you know, I've just remembered I've got a present for you. Hello. Hello. This is from Mickey John. That was nice of your dad to buy baby Mia a present, wasn't it? Yeah. Hello. Ah, she likes it. What are you doing now, Daddy? Right, come on, class. That's the way. Sit down. Here you come. Come on, quick march. Okay. Nice and quiet, please. Now, I want you all to come up in ones and twos and have a look at this beautiful painting by Dr. Juno. Then, I want you all to think about your favourite things, the things that you love in River Sea Fingal. Now, later on, we're going to write them down. But first, it's time for me to get down to some hard work. Oh, 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 with joy when I go to school in the morning Teaching with my chums and see the children learning School day, work away I'm learning, learning, learning when I teach in I'm teaching, learning, teaching, learning, teaching School day, work away Teaching to count and teaching to read Learning about birds and plants and seeds Playing games and sports outdoors Blowing my whistle and keeping the score I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching We're learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away Oh, the secretary's smiling as she does her organising The Johnny fixes, the cookie mixes And the cleaner keeps her shining Oh, what? Joy when I go to school in the morning Holding the line in the dinner queue While the cookie cooks and serves the stew Answering the questions where and why How does it work and how does it fly? I'm learning, learning, learning when I'm teaching He's learning, learning, learning when he's teaching School day, work away All the children peep and eye me As they sit and try their writing I take a look their books, the good ones get a smiley. Oh, I want joy when I go to school in the morning. 
Okay, everyone, pack up and off you go. Now, I hope you've all written down some good ideas about what you like most about River Sea Fingal. Off you go. Oh, hiya. Oh, Bobby, what are you up to? Oh, Mickey John, I've just been on this nature run. It was ace. I saw loads of brilliant things. Here, I've collected some stuff mm. for you. Oh, thanks, Bobby. Ooh. Ooh. Leaves and twigs. Ferns, seeds, and bark. Whoa. Oh, this is fantastic. Thanks, Bobby. That's OK. I thought it might come in useful for your class. Oh, it's really kind of you. And I can really keep all this. Yeah, of course. I collected it for you. Oh, wow. That's a great picture. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Yeah. Did you do it yourself? <laughs> no. I love it. Who did it? Oh, Dr Juno. It's fantastic. She painted it for her art class. No way. She's clever, isn't she? A doctor and an artist. Bobby, I want you to have the painting. You obviously love it just as much as I do. What? Oh, no, 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 no. I couldn't. I couldn't. Oh, but, but you gave me all this stuff. I, I want you to have it. Oh, crumbs. Well, um, all right then. Thanks very much. Well, I know exactly where I'm going to put it. Right above my fireplace where everybody will see it. <laughs> well, thanks for all this stuff, Bobby. No, no, thank you for the painting. Bye. Oh, people are so lovely, aren't they? <laughs> I wonder how you're doing, my lovely little girl. There's a tree, baby. Yeah. Well done, Rebecca. Look, Granny, Granny. There's a tree. Oh, well spotted, you. A twig, yeah. <laughs> you hold on to that, my darling. Look, Granny, Granny. There's a tree. Oh, wow. Well, we should empty your dad later. Good girl. Thanks very much for all your hard work, class. I've really enjoyed reading your list of things you love in Riversea Fingal. Now, some of you liked the Harlequin Hospital building, which you can see in the picture here. And some of you liked the River Fingal. And you can see the River Fingal sneaking through the picture here. Oh, just a moment. I've been building up to this moment all day. The children have been working hard writing down their favourite things about Riversea Fingal. But now I don't have a picture of the city to go through their ideas one by one. Where did the time go? At seven o'clock, I took Rebecca to see Granny Murray. The children had collected things from a nature walk. Granny Murray was sticking everything into a lovely big scrapbook as a memento of the day. Granny Murray told me that the scrapbook had been a present to her and she hadn't known just quite what to do with it until today. Rebecca gave me a present of a fur cone. At eight o'clock, I arrived at the school. Dr Juno stopped by my classroom. She showed me a beautiful picture of Revisee Fingal that she'd painted herself. I thought the painting was wonderful. Dr. Juno was pleased that I liked her painting. She was so pleased, she gave it to me. At nine o'clock, the children arrived. I asked them to look at Dr. Juno's painting and write down the things they liked best about the city of Riversea Fingal. At 12 o'clock, Bobby came along with some things she had collected on a nature run. Leaves, seeds, twigs and bark. She thought they might come in useful for my class. Bobby spotted Dr. Juno's painting. She loved it so much, I gave it to her. At one o'clock, the children arrived for their afternoon lesson. I was talking through their favourite things about the city when I realised I didn't have Dr Juno's picture of River Sea Fingal anymore. How could we talk about our favourite things in the city without a picture to look at? Now remember, make the most of what you've been given. Make the most of what you've been given. Of course. I gave Dr. Juno's picture of River Sea Fingal to Bobby, but she gave me lots of lovely things from her nature walk in return. I have to make the most of Bobby's gift and make a new picture of River Sea Fingal. But it's a race against time. I gotta do it, I gotta do it. I gotta beat the clock before the chime. I gotta sort it, I gotta sort it. I gotta do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bong. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Do we think he's gonna do it? Do the job that needs to be done. Will he know how to fix it? Will he finish what he has begun? He's the surest we are friends. He will get there in the end because he knows what he should do. I'm gonna do it. He's gonna do it. I'm 
I'm gonna beat the clock before the chime. I'm gonna sort it. He's gonna start it. I'm gonna do the job on time. Like a busy bee, I'm gonna beat that bomb. I'm gonna finish this job before I finish this song. Well, thanks for all your hard work this morning. I enjoyed reading your stories about all the things you love around and about Rivercy Fingal. And some of you said you liked walking by the river. Well, you can see the river snaking through the picture here. <laughs> Oh, and some of you liked walking on the bridges. You get some of the best views in the city from these bridges. Views like the amazing Riversy Fingal Castle. Oh, and some of you liked the Harlequin Hospital best. And you can see it down here in the picture. <laughs> now, see if you can guess what all the different things are made from. And what do you think the castle's made from? Yes. Leaves. Leaves, that's right, yes, it's made of leaves. And what about the bridges? Was well, a quite a rough texture, isn't it? What do you think? Bark. That's right, it's the bark of a tree. What do you reckon the Harlequin Hospital is made out of? Yes. A pine cone. Yes, it's a pine cone or a fir cone. Ah, Rebecca, thanks so much for giving me that fir cone. I can get him. Yes, you are. Yes. Oh, how's your picture coming on, Rebecca? Fine. Let's see, darling. Oh, that's beautiful. Well done. Oh, you know, I think you've got an artistic streak, just like your dad. <laughs> He'll be here to pick you up soon, darling. Mickey John. Hi, Granny Molly. Ha <laughs> <laughs> come oh. away through. Rebecca, Daddy's here. Ah, hello, beautiful girl. Hello, Daddy. Oh, looks like you've had a lovely time. Yeah. Oh, we certainly did. It was a pleasure. Thank you, Daddy. Oh, my special girl. <laughs> You're good as gold. And it's thanks from me too, Granny Murray. You're saying make the most of what you've been given, save the day. I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Come on, you two. Ho, ho. Looking forward to next time. Me too. Come on, Rebecca, let's chat about our time away. Remember, you can't work without a good square meal inside you. Thank you, Granny Murray. See you later. Yeah, we'll be thinking of you, darling. Me too. Now, you keep a wee eye on Mickey John. Make sure he goes the right way to work. Oh, I don't have much time. How can I speed across the river to work? <coughs> That's right. Thanks. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'll take it, take it, take it on a speedboat. I'll be, 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 be there quite quick. Hurry, hurry, hurry down the river. Splashing, splashing, splashing through the waves. Whining, whining, whining drives the speed up. Chugga, chugga, chugga slows us down. Rocking, rocking, rocking to the dock. Now splashing, splashing to our stop. In, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. I'm in, 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 in a hurry. I need, 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 need to speed to work. Hurry, hurry, hurry. And hurry, hurry, hurry. Put my tie on. All snazzy and ready to go. I've got some time before the children finish assembly. These books are amazing, all about pirates and sailing ships. <sighs> Look at all those sails. <sighs> Ahoy, Jim lads, weigh the anchor. On your way, boys, we're going to find treasure. Ha <laughs> ha. You OK, Mickey John? Sounded like someone was in trouble. No trouble at all, Louis, until we see pirates on the horizon. Uh, well, we'll let you know if we see any, won't we, Chuck? <laughs> Thank ye, Jim lad. Ha <laughs> ha. We're doing some music with one of the classes today. So he wondered what type of music should we play. Any ideas? Shanties. Shanties? Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the band down. Hey, that sounds good, Chuck. Come all ye young fellows that follows the sea. Way, hey, blow the band down. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, hey, and up she rises. Way, she rises. Hey, cool idea, Chuck. We can play sea shanties to the kids later on. Let's go. What shall we do with a sailor? What shall we do with a sailor? What shall we do? Oh, 